What you're going to learn in this video tutorial is how to install a make human add-on. You'll be shown also how to install additional assets to make the add-on more functional. You'll be shown how to make different ethnicities as far as your basic make human character. Uh, you'll be shown how to make things like a wrinkled shirt or wrinkled pants. And when I say make, I mean basically selecting them on the make human add-on. You'll be shown how to add on uh, eyelashes as well as teeth, as well as hair, shoes. You'll also be shown how to set up a rig that allows you to have full body control as well as face control. Uh, you'll be shown how to do basic movements on that rig such as rotating the head, uh, manipulating the arms. As I work my way through the tutorial, I try to not only explain what I'm doing, but why I'm doing what I'm doing. So thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope that you enjoy it. Hi, this is Ali Arango. There are many ways of making 3D humans. I'm going to show you how to make fast 3D humans using a Make Human plugin in Blender 4.2. So let's get started. Okay, the way we're going to do this is we are going to, you're going to go to Google, you're going to search for Make Human, right? You'll see this pop up. Uh, what you want to do is you can go right to Downloads. What this is, if you've ever used Make Human before, typically Make Human was a program where you would download Make Human, uh, change your different humans, how they look inside of Make Human, right? Once you did that, then you would you know finalize your Make Human and then you would export that Make Human out and then you would bring that Make Human into Blender. What I'm showing you today is that that's not how you do it anymore. The way you do it now is you download uh, the Make Human plugin that you actually make your 3D humans inside of Blender itself. All right. So I'm going to show you what to download to be able to, to do that. So see this MPFB2? You're going to click here. The MPFB downloads page, go there, right? All right. So once you get to here, what you're going to do is you can go down to releases. You want to look for MPFP 2.0, the B1 zip. I was pointing to this, but this is the one you want from. This is the one you want. MPFP 2.0 BL zip. So you're going to click that, right, to begin downloading that. Okay, so I'm working where I have, like, this is a tab. I have my other tab here. I'm going to go back to here, right? Now what you're going to want to do is to have extra assets when you make your 3D humans inside of Blender. You want to go to this uh, assets pack, right? To so see this, what you sh should you download, see where we're at. You're going to click asset packs. And there's a bunch of different stuff you're going to, you can download. I'm directing you to make humans systems assets. You're going to click this to download that. Okay, once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Blender. This is Blender 4.2. The This add-on, by the way, you need to have Blender 4.1 to have this work. So as far as I know, before Blender 4.1, this will not work. The current version is, of Blender is 4.2. That's what we're working at. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to Edit. You want to go to Preferences. Uh, here in Preferences, the reason why we came to Preferences is so you can actually install the add-on, right? I already installed the add-on, so I'm going to point you to where it goes. I'm not going to actually install it again. So see where we see add-ons here? We're going to go to uh, to the right. You see like an arrow. It looks like there's a little tag here, add-on tags. I guess that is. You're going to click the arrow, right? And you're going to select install from disk. You're going to look to where your add-on went to. For my computer, it goes to downloads, right? This is important what I'm about to say, so listen to this, right? You want the zip file. You don't want to... Uh, extract the zip file. You want the actual zip file. So the zip file is going to, it looks like, you know, this. All right. So you're going to click this and click install from base for that. Okay. And what that is, this is the actual add on. All right. Okay. What you're going to do now is you're going to select X. 
to get out of there, you're going to press N to bring up your uh, properties panel, right? And what you want to do is you're going to look for this MFB V2 0 dash B1, right? Uh, you're going to click on that. When you first click on it, most likely what you're going to see is it's set up just like this, right? What you're going to want to do now before you start making your human, you're going to want to go to library settings, right? You're going to click here. This is important, what I'm showing you uh, now. And then for here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to install assets. So this is another, this is we're installing an asset inside of the make human asset. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to select uh, in load pack from zip file. You're going to go to my uh, for me it's downloads and then what you're going to look for is you're going to look for make human system assets dash cc zero dot zip right and you're going to select load pack from zip file okay once you have all of that stuff done uh, I'm going to press the N key to come away from the add-on that we just had open, right? And it's how you get that panel open. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the cube and then I'm going to press X to delete the cube. Okay, I'm going to go through, try to go through it fairly quickly on how to actually make your human. Uh, what I'm about to show you here, what is nice is... Uh, this could save you anywhere from 30 to 60 hours of, of work right here. And you probably can make a human that's rigged with a body rig, with a face rig in five minutes once you get used to it, right? In your edit user preferences, you're also going to make want to make sure that you have for preferences for add-ons. You're going to want to go to uh, Rigify. You can search for it or you can look through it. You're going to make sure you have a check mark next to Rigify as well, right? All right, so I'm going to press the, the uh, N key to come out. You want to have this selected here. This is our make human add on, right? Now you're going to go up to where you see new human. Let me take away that check mark next to apply assets. You'll go to new human. You're going to select from scratch. Uh, I work with this a little. I was very happy to see it in Blender 4.2. I've done numerous videos on this channel about making up, making fast humans, typically Blender updates. A lot of times when updates happen, uh, versions go away. So you no longer can make those kind of new humans. So this one currently is working. It just got made not too long ago, so it should work for a while. Anyway, I'm saying that I don't know everything about this add-on, making this video so that, uh, trying to help out people who need to make a, a fast human asset that they can customize as well as having a rig where they can animate the body as well as, well as animate the face. Okay, so you have your basic uh, options here. So you'll see this from scratch phenotype, right? I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna go to mail. Uh, muscle, we'll keep it at average. Those of you who know something about me, it's hard for me to do that instead of clicking maximum. Just from, anyway, I'm not even gonna get it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, height average, you know, uh, for this, we're gonna change this to Caucasian. You can have it be, this is what's nice about make human. You can have make human uh, be straight African, Asian, or Caucasian, or universal, a mix of different uh, ethnicities mixed together. So pretty nice. Okay, so with these basic setups in, with those basic setups in, you're going to select create human. And then here you can see the human is made right here. Okay, when you install the add-on for this, whenever you close Blender and open it up, you should find the Make Human uh, add-on waiting here for you. However, and I'm not sure about this, but for me, uh, it seems to be that to have the skin assets and everything in here, I need to go uh, down to, go to Apply Assets, Library Assets, and then I have to go to load pack from zip file, which is clicking here, you know, finding the uh, make human system assets and then select load from 
Zip, not that big of a deal, but I wanted to, to let you know because that's kind of, I'm getting used to this deal. So I'm like, why are you making a video if you're not totally used for it? Because I want to help people out. And for myself, and I, if I forget how to do this, I want to, uh, you know, be able to come back, watch my own video if I need it. Anyway, uh, yeah, you might, for for this, you might have to, to get all of your skin assets, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. You, not, you might need to click this to get your skin assets. Like I said, this will be waiting for you, the add-on to make your uh human character however as far as loading the assets you might have to do that each time you go to work from this and when i say add-ons typically i'm talking about skin textures things like that okay so with that done uh what we'll do is we'll go down so you got all this stuff under library assets right now we can go to skin libraries right so we have different skins for different ethnicities we also have it according to age which is pretty interesting so we have a male caucasian dude right so what we're going to do is with this selected right see how it's, it's selected you can tell it's selected because it's highlighted we're going to select load right so you can see this a little right here uh this is important if you're new to blender or haven't worked in blender in a while you have your three viewing modes right here your viewport shading mode uh, or viewport, I guess that's what they're all called. But you have these three modes. This is your main render mode. Uh, if you click here, typically this will let you see textures working. So when I click there, you can see like here's the texture that's on here, right? Okay, when you look at your character, if you look at the eyes, you'll see that you don't have eyes in the character, right? Before putting eyes in a character, you want to put a rig on this. One of the nice things about this make human add-on is that it not only allows you to make quick customizable characters but allows you to have rigs in them so what you want to do is look to where you see rigging right you're going to click the arrow to open this up you're going to select to uh, go to add rig right and then what you're going to do is here you're going to click add rigify rig there's multiple rigs for you to work with Rigify, uh, if you don't know, is a uh, add-on that comes with Blender. Like So it is kind of like, basically, it's the default Blender rig to work with. It's very good uh, in, for, in Blender uh, 4.2. So I recommend you use this rig. So you're going to select Add Rigify Rig. And now you can see like this Rigify, uh, when we click that, we have uh, a bone skeleton put onto our mesh here. Okay, you can see your rig and like these this line set up here, a wire set up. Uh, it's selected. You can tell it's selected because it's highlighted uh, like this orange color. If it's not selected, you can select it. Be aware we're in object mode. It's important in Blender to realize which mode you're in. So I want to change this from this wire mode. I uh, spent a decent amount of time making up rig, rigging things, making up rigs from scratch in Blender. Uh, I don't particularly like working with wire. You can... Do it to your preference, but if you're going to go along following me, I, I recommend uh, that you, uh, you know, set it up how I, how I am. So I have, right now, currently by default, it's set to display as wire. So we're in object mode. We have the rig selected. We have this little guy right here. looks like a little guy running, right? We have all the options here. We go down past all these options. We go to viewport display and then display as wire. We're going to click here, go to oxyhedral. This is what I am used to and what I like, because that's um, I'm used to you know working with rigs and making rigs using this. So I recommend you set this up as that. And what this is, this is Blender's uh, Rigify rig that's on here because we clicked Add Rigify on the you know Make Human that's in, in uh, meshed in front of us. Okay, now that we have that rig. We're going to hold shift, press B, draw a zoom box to the face. Notice that there's no eyes. However, because we added this rig, we can add eyes. Before, we were not able to add eyes. But because the rig is here, so realize what I'm saying. Once you make your make human mesh, right? If you try to add eyes, eye meshes, without having some type of rig in here, as far as I know, the eyes won't go. So you set up your rig. And then once the rig's set up, now you have the ability to go to your eye library, which is here. So we'll go to high poly, you have high poly low, I'm gonna select 
load. And now you can see we have eyes loaded in, uh, textures and all. Very nice. Okay, so now that we have that in, we'll go to our arrow, click this just to give our spa ourselves uh, more space, right? So now we can, we can continue using Make Humans uh, assets. And the way, reason why we can use these assets, because if by some chance you skipped in the video, the reason why we have the ability to put these ads on is we not only installed the add-on, we also installed inside of the Make Human, the Make Human uh, assets, main assets, right? If you don't, if you didn't install the Make Human ad, main assets, you won't see things like this. So anyway, with that done, we can go to things like this, teeth library, we'll select low teeth, you can see like the outline of the teeth. Uh, like I guess to make human, this is spectacular for uh, uh, just fast work. As far as this rig, by the way, uh, we can actually go to where we say make human and we can select the eye to temporarily hide the rig, right? It's important what you select on in Blender, by the way. Uh, so anyway, uh, and a lot of times when you select things, Blender will uh, automatically select what it wants, right? Uh, I'm telling you that because if you have some kind of issue and you're like, well, it's not working, you might not be selected on the right thing. Look at our eyes. We don't have any eyelashes. We can go to the eyelashes uh, library. I'm going to select one or load. Automatic eyelashes. Very nice. There's no eyebrows, right? We go to the eyebrow uh, assets right here. It gives us a preview. We select load. We have eyebrows. Very nice. Okay, so we can keep going on and when we want when we need more space, we'll just select the arrow to come out of there, select the arrow to come out of there. Hair library. So we have all these different types of hair. Click the arrow to go out of there. Let's try this. Now we have hair. Very nice. Extremely nice actually. Why is it extremely nice? Because uh, making these different assets, you know, could take you anywhere from 20 minutes to two to five hours to make each one, particularly hair. Uh, anyway, so we, we have the hair, right? Nice and fast, nice and quick. We keep going down. Oh, wait a second. We go to clothes library. So our guy currently doesn't have clothes. We go to clothes, we can scroll through. It's even nice how this is set up. There's female clothes there. Now we have male clothes here. So let's click here. Look at that. Nice wrinkles in the shirt, wrinkles in the pants, right? Very, very nice. Again, to make up, just to make up these clothes, I mean, that could be anywhere from, man, it could go anywhere from, if you're flying 20 minutes to possibly about five hours to get something like this, uh, all the work that it would take, I mean, to do it, which I've done pretty much everything we've done on here, I've done manually. <laughs> so when I'm telling you this stuff, like it gives me pleasure showing you this because I've made up these different assets manually pretty much from a cube or or a uh, curve or whatever so yeah it gives me it does it gives me pleasure showing you this because just for you to dodge that all that work you know uh sometimes it's fun doing it but a lot of times if you need something quick i mean this is this is excellent right so how about shoes keep scrolling down look at that shoes sneakers we'll click there you go. Same thing again. Same thing again. That it could take you know, just to make those shoes could be two to two to five hours. There was a time, and don't get me wrong, there's still a time where I will make up a character and I will make everything from scratch. I mean, the body, eyes, eyebrow, hair, clothes, everything, right? And and in the past, I was in a, I don't know, a mindset where I was like, I'm going to make everything myself, everything myself. And I'm blessed to have the knowledge and have, have had the time to, to be able to, to learn how to make everything. However, uh, I would recommend you, you not have that mindset if you don't. If, you, if you're trying to do something else and you need an asset, make human is, is excellent. Anyway, 
So now we have all of this stuff, right? Which I told you would take a long time. Uh, so now, along with that, like typically what you would have to do is you would have to set up your, your rig. Like if you were doing a rig from scratch, when I tend to make assets in Blender, my mind is typically thinking about having them move, having them be able, able to animate. Uh, so rigging, like, it's kind of like on my mind as I'm making things. Anyway, this, this you have your rig here, right? There's a few things we need to set up to the rig to have it be able to work uh, and work fairly easily. Okay, so I'm going to go up to close. Coming up here to give ourselves more space, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this rig, right? I'm going to... Uh, okay. So see where we have this rigging, right? Uh, we can click... A second, yeah. You can click generate a rig in here. You can also click generate a rig by we're in object mode right we're clicked on the rig the rig is selected it's important when i'm telling you here the mode what's selected right we're clicked on the little guy looks like he's running right then if you look down in this menu you'll see rigify and you'll see generate rig also and this is the add-on menu we got to here by pressing the, the n key you can also generate the rig from here right so you have both options to generate the rig from Okay, when you hear me say generate the rig, you might sit there and say, well, this is uh, you know, this is the rig. No, this isn't the rig. This is a, think of it as like a proto rig. We need this to generate the rig, right? When you look inside, so currently we're in object mode. We have the rig selected. We're in the tab for the make human add-on, right? If you look to the side, there is the main Blender add-on. This is the make human tab add-on. This is all the options. Here's the Blender. This is like, whether you have make human or not, this is like typically your rigging stuff. You have generate, you have rigify, generate rig for here. You do not want to use this. The reason why you don't want to generate this, this will generate the rig, but it won't be, it won't automatically be way painted. Again, that's, that saves a lot of time. So what you want to do is you want to look to your uh, rigging inside of your make human add on tabs. And then here with this selected, then you want to select generate rig. And then you'll have this right here. And with this here, this should allow, this should automatically have, uh, by clicking generate rig inside of the make human add-ons tab, uh, your character should be weight painted to your mesh. Okay, so when I was telling you about generating the rig, setting things up to be controlled uh, by or make it easy for you to control. That's what you see all these pieces are here, right? If you look up into our outliner window, uh, all these are our Blender assets. See this make human meta rig and then human rigify. The make human meta rig, if I click that, that is basically what was used to generate this rig, all right? What you see now with the human rigify is you see the controls to control the rig and because this mesh is attached to this rig, the rig allows us to move and animate the mesh. So basically what you have here with this make human add-on is making all of the different assets, the main mesh, the clothes, the textures, the UVs, the shoes, the eyes, that right there you're looking at probably I mean that that could be anywhere that could be anywhere from depending on how fast you are, 25 to 50 hours, right? Uh, doing all this stuff right here. And then as far as the rig, setting up the rig, making the rig work correctly, all that stuff, again, probably about 25 to 50 hours, uh, depending on, on how fast you are or longer. Once you know how to do this stuff, and hopefully you, you will after this, this video, there's other videos like this, but this is my particular way of showing you how to do it. Uh, Instead of taking basically, you know, possibly up to 100 hours to do this, you can have this done in five minutes or less. And when I say done, I'm talking about having a rig made, customized to your liking, eyes rigged, ready to animate, ready to go in like five minutes, which is excellent. 
Okay, I'll probably make another video uh, showing you how to work with this thing now, but so you have a basic idea of how to work with it. Remember I told you about the modes we're in? We're currently in object mode, right? When you want to work with a rig, you'll make sure the rig is selected. You can tell it's selected because it's highlighted yellow. And then what you'll do is go to object mode. You'll click the arrow there. And then what you're going to do is go to pose mode. Pose mode is a mode where you can pose your rig. And because your mesh is attached to your rig, your rig will uh, pose as well. Okay, if you press the N key, you'll probably still select it on the Make Human add-on. Since most of our work is done, you no longer need to be selected on this add-on. Now what you can do is go to Item. And when you see these items, these are different uh, rig layers. And this is ways of also where you can make things uh, show where you want to, basically like showing what you want to work with and what you don't want to work with. Uh, that's what the highlighted blue options are. For instance, if I didn't want to work with the face, I can select face and it deselects. You can see the uh, options for the face go away. I can go back, turn this back on, they come back. Okay, with your rig selected, items, oops, wait a second, there we go. Uh, what you want to do is, with your rig selected, go to pose mode. Here in pose mode, uh, now you are able to actually pose your rig. I plan on making a video where I show you uh, more advanced, I, what, a little bit more of what you can do with, with this. However, you should be able to click, for instance, here. Press the G key, and you'll see that your hand will uh, animate. Uh, typically, when you go work with a rig, you would let, it's good to play with the rig. See what it can do. So here I'll press G, move it uh, side to side. I'm going to right click. I'm, um, I have this selected here. I'm going to press R twice, which lets me uh, rotate the head. Very nice. Uh, the weight painting is nice. If you don't know what weight painting is, time. Just time, time again. Like So look at the eyes, right? I click here. I move this. You see the eyes looking around. Uh, very nice. Uh, this should be, if I click here, wait a second, uh, that, maybe this is it, okay, that's head control, mouth control, there we go, chin control. So yeah, typically when I work, go to work with a rig, I'll, I'll go for the arms, the legs, you know, make sure that uh, the weight painting is correct. Uh, see, there's the whole body there. So yeah, you have uh, uh, facial controls, body controls. I didn't even mention making it. Typically, would you when you're rigging, you make a, a body rig, then you would make a, a face rig as well. Again, <laughs> again, uh, anywhere from, yeah, it could be anywhere from five to 20 hours just with the face rig. Face rig. So, yeah, but, uh, make human very nice to have, you know, character, customized character uh, with a rig that has body controls as well as face controls. Okay, I'm about to end the tutorial. I hope that you learned something from this. I hope that this allows you to make uh, assets very quickly that you can animate quickly if by the way uh, you need somebody who knows how to rig uh, is or is, is experienced at rigging and you're working on a project I am available for hire this is August 2024 uh, but yeah I hope this helped you out it gives me pleasure like you having the option to not go through all the different things I mentioned before and you know, making the different things and going through it, particularly if you're pressed for time. Okay, guys, that's it for the tutorial. For all of those of you out there who like the videos on this channel and we share them, thank you very much. If you like the videos on this, on this channel and you, you like having more detailed explanations of things, take a little bit longer that aren't 
you know, put down to two minutes or five minutes. I recommend you subscribe to this channel. Uh, and uh, for just the fact if you made it this far, congratulations and thank you for watching this video.